Welcome to Gospel Embassy Chapel and be spiritually nourished by Pastor Peter Murwabi. Skriza, shetani yupo na lazima tumuchulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu. You can also watch the Power and Uplifting Sermons live on YouTube channel every Saturday. From now going forward, nobody in this church is dying before the time in Jesus name. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. 1st Corinthians 2 verse 4 My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Gospel Embassy Network TV The place to feed on heavenly bread. Today, the Lord is reminding us of our trust in Him. Praise God. And what it requires of us is that we will guard our thoughts. We will guard our thoughts. Praise God. Nimekua niki, nikiangalia. Nimekua nikiangalia ama nimekua nikifikiria. I, I, I have been thinking. And I have been looking at what is going on in the current in the current world, what is going on especially even in our country. And I came to realize uh, we don't know people. Yani, mtu wanafanya kitu, mpaka unajiuliza, actually I don't think if I ever knew this person. And, and you wonder, for example, currently we're having a lot of um, a lot of war in the in the marriage in the marriage covenant in marriages and you are, you are seeing people are being murdered right left center right left center and when you sit down when you hear stories people are seeing even if that man murdered that his wife he did not look like he will do it like he's somebody who can do such a thing there are people who have been killed. There are, there are parents who have killed their children. There are children who have killed their parents. And very few of them, in their conversations, you will hear that they want to kill someone. And by the time they are speaking that they want to kill someone, there is somewhere else that there has been a meeting taking place. And where has that meeting been taking place? Huh? The meeting has been taking place in their minds. Because somebody will not just wake up today and kill you. They have been thinking about that thing. Probably they, are, uh, they almost attempted it before or they attempted it and it did not work. Or they thought and they called themselves again and told themselves what we want to do is not, is not right. Praise God. And there is nothing as powerful as our thoughts. Our actions... I have come to realize our, many of the words of men are not true. Many of the words of men are not true. Their actions really depict who they are. But actions do not just come. Yani, matendo hayatokei tu. Matendo yanatokea kutoka na kile ambacho mtu amekua kiwaza. Their actions come out of what they have been thinking. Because as a man thinks, so is he. As a man thinks, so is he. So, kile kitu ambacho kinashinda kiko kwa in your thoughts every time, that is actually who you are. Not what you, you, you speak for the sake of every other person to see. Na nilipata kwamba, a lot of activity takes place in our minds. A lot of activity takes place in our mind. What we speak and what we do 
cannot even be a quarter of what goes on in our minds. Unapata tu um, many of you who are here have murdered people in your mind in your thoughts. Si ni ukweli. Many of you here mumeua watu katika mawazo yenu. Lakini amjaifanya physically. And as you keep on entertaining that thought, that thought. Eh? Huyu mwanaume ananisumbua <laughs> siku moja. Unaamka usiku amelala unamwangalia. <laughs> Unasema tu kwa kusema saa hii I will be held accountable. Wacha tu nikuache. As you keep on entertaining that thought one day it will manifest in action. You will kill that person. And that is why God is telling us that we should mind our thoughts. Let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Chapter, chapter 4 verse 17 and verse 18. And then we'll also read Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. So, Second uh, Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 says, For our, pre our present troubles are small and what lasts very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather we fix our eyes on, uh, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last, will last forever. Praise God. And let us read um, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And then we'll go back to the second Corinthians. So it says in verse 8, And now, dear brothers and sisters, our final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true, Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Praise God. That it was very important for Paul to remind us that we, we, keep, we keep thinking of things that are true, things that are honorable, things that are admirable, not just any other thing. Why? Because our thoughts, our thoughts are who we are. Mawazo yetu, ukiwa umeketi mahali, ukiona tu mutu akili yako Ina, ina, inatoa matusi kwa kichwa yako unafikiria tu vile yako na kichwa kubwa vile yako na miguu kombo vile anakaa kwanza sijui anakaa namna gani ile kondobo sa that is who you are you in real life you are that kind of person and if there is no one watching you a hundred percent of the times that is what you will always be giving out praise god unasikia Yale mawazo ambayo anashinda kwa kichwa yako. That is who you are. That is who you are. Unasema, eh, you are saying, hata hivyo sijamua, lakini ningekuwa na uwezo ningemua. You have actually killed that person. Because we, we, we do not live in the physical world. What we focus on is what is in the invisible. And our thoughts, and our thoughts are not physical. They're invisible. And those thoughts have the ability to create. Everything you have seen, these, these cars that have been built, have been made, have been manufactured, these houses that we have built, those things came from somebody's mind. And they were thinking. And they were, nyumba tukijenga hivi, itakuwa vile. I want a house that has this number of rooms. That thing is in their thoughts. And in that thought, ndiyo wakachora. And they now started seeing how the dimensions will be and make a plan. And the house came. Even when these houses are being built, now physically, that fundi never uses really the, the hands. Anatumia kili. Anapige esabu. The way he wants that house to look, the way he wants that wall to look, 
in their mind, in their thoughts, is what they put in the physical. And they keep thinking, if I want this world to be straight, where do I adjust? And they're calculating, and they're thinking, and their mind is thinking, and then it becomes the physical. So, kile ambacho kinadumu kwa kili yako kila wakati. Hapo ndiyo penye huko. Huyo ndiyo wewe sasa. Huyo ndiyo wewe. And, and, and it, it, is, it, is, it is something that is affecting us as believers much more than any other person. Because we are saved in the physical. Y y yani, how do I put it? We have, been, we have received Christ in public. And we confess that Christ is Lord in public. But our thoughts, our, our thoughts have not been aligned to our, our confession. So you are asking, we keep asking, why are you not manifesting who Christ really is? Because your thoughts are not aligned to your confession. And if we change our minds, if we change our minds, that's why the Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, that we be transformed by the renewal of our mind. When your mind has been changed, your mind uh, contains your thoughts. If, you're, if your thinking has been changed, for example, if you keep on thinking about um, something wrong, unfortunately, it always happens. And I was, I was asking, um, I, I, I am a counselor, how come children who are born in families where they have parents who take alcohol, ama wakona wazazi ambao are violent, and they are suffering in that family, and they are, as, as you're growing up, those children always say, Ile siku ntakuwa mkubwa, sitawai kunywa pombe, sitawai pigana. If it is a boy, he will always say, akikuwa mkubwa hata kunywa pombe, he will not beat his wife, he will take care of them. Fast forward 20, 25 years later, they are now adults. Most of them are doing what? The exact same thing that they were swearing they will never do. They always do the exact same thing. Amezaliwa kwa familia watu wanalewa. And they swear. By the time they are 25 years, 30, they are drinking. Sometimes even worse <laughs> than, than where they saw it happening. Children who are raised in, in violent families end up becoming violent themselves. Kwa sababu gani? Because their thoughts are preoccupied with those sin sins every day. And everything you think of and everything you fear always comes to pass. Do you ever, do you, have you ever realized that, that what you fear will happen always happens? We always assume it used to be when we were kids, when we used to be tukiwa wadogo. Vile unanza kuosha viombo, unajiambia kwa kichwa wako, aki hizi vikombe, wacha nizishike vizuri zisipasuke, wacha nizishike, zinapasuka. And we've been, we thought, we think currently, kwamba ilikuwa ni utoto. Si utoto, even now. Most of those things we fear the most always turn up to happen. They are negative, yes. But we fear that they will happen, and they always happen. Because our thoughts are building them. Every time. You fear what if my marriage fails. And you are thinking about that. What if it fails? What will happen? How will it be? God forbid it will not happen. It always happens. What if my child does not turn out to be someone productive? That is what you fear. Ata maumbi yako si kuamba mtoto wako wakue sawa. Unaogopa tu asikue mlevi, asianguke shule. And that thing that you fear the most does what happens. Because your thoughts are always centered around that failure. And when you're looking at that negative thing, you, you will never see your child successful. In, in, in your thoughts, you even see your child drunk and staggering. In your thoughts. Because you're imagining, Aki asikuwe mlevi, Aki, Aki kuwa mlevi atakana mnagani. You're even able to create a picture of who he looks like. Or who she looks like when they are drunk. Mr. Naongo asishike mi, Aki asishike mimba akiwa mdogo. And when you're looking at, in that thought, you're already, you're already seeing your daughter pregnant. You're even seeing the way she will appear when she's pregnant and your thoughts are preoccupied with that thing that you fear that you don't want and it actually comes to pass 
praise God. So God is calling us today that we we focus our thoughts, let our thoughts be of those things that are true, those things that are honorable, those things that are good, that thing that you want. In this life, there is what you want and what you don't want. And unfortunately, when you are thinking, you do not think of what you want. Unana kama sai, unataka ukuo umepona, upone. Lakini kwa mawazo yako, unafikiria vile unasikia uchu. Yani, you are seeing the other aspect of not getting well. I, I, sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuna, tunaelewana? Tunaelewana kweli? You want to get married, sindio? But 95% of your thoughts is how you have not gotten married. How you have not gotten a partner. Not about what kind of partner you want. Creating who you want in the spiritual. You are only thinking, Iko, pale kwa ule mwenye, like you are, I am single. I want to get married. But all my thoughts are in singlehood. My thoughts are not in, in getting that partner. Are we... Are we getting each other? <laughs> Between what we want and what we don't want, most of the times our thoughts are focused on what we don't want and not what we want. You are poor. Your thoughts are not about your wealth. Ato ukitaka kupige hesabu ati, what if God blesses me today? I get 100,000. Unasema iwezi, yani 100,000 zitatoka wapi. Uko kwa hii, hapa mahali hauna. You do not think about what you want. You do not think about the great things that you, you deserve. You do not think the person you are supposed to be. You have, you have been saved. You want to change your character. You never think about, I am going to be an, a man of integrity, a woman of integrity, a woman of respect. A woman where I pass, God will be manifested. You are just thinking about, mahali ulikuwa. Usha toka lakini akili yako yuko huko mahali ulikuwa. And eventually you will go back where you are. Because your thoughts are not changed. So today as we the, the year is continuing. We are almost in the we are almost in are we in the middle we are almost in the middle of this month. We are in the middle actually. And God is still working. God is still setting us out to stand out as a distinct people, as, as his own children. But we have to change our thoughts. That we focus, we think about what God has told us. We think about God, what God has promised. We think about what God has declared over our lives. Praise God. And when our thoughts are focused towards that, we'll always get the way. Because if God has said that he will make you prosperous, and he will give you the ability to create the wealth, and your thoughts are in poverty. Where will those ideas meet you? Where will those abilities meet you? It will not happen because your thoughts are there in the poverty. Praise God. I was even telling, I, I was looking at um, um, some, of, some of the communications, even the women who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We have. Yes, I do not deny. There are some of you who are trusting God, but your partners, your husbands are not cooperating. They, some of them have other wives or other women already. They have not been coming home. Some of them, because you don't have a child, they maltreat you. But God has said, irrespective of everything, he will give you this child by this man. But your confession, Nico, eh? You do not know the value of what you have until you lose it. So you have already lost yourself. As you are waiting for him to read your status, that you do not know the value of what you have until you have lost it. Some of them are already declaring, Kwamba, you have come in faith, and you are already saying, this man will never change. Where will he be changing from? Because you have already rejected him. You have already rejected the working of God. Even if God tells you, today is coming, attack you on a corner. Even if he has come, physically, your thoughts are not there. Your thoughts had already said you will not come back. Your reception definitely will not be in accordance to what you're supposed to do. Praise God. So if God has told us, 
he will make a way. Me, I don't want to bother where, where he will make the way to come from. He can make a way from heaven. He can make a bypass. He can uproot a whole mountain. He can, ev wherever. What he said is, he will make a way. Any way is a way. Air is way. Sindio, every, ata he, air is way. Sindio, air way. Everywhere is, he can create wherever he will create. For as long as whatever he said, I keep to that. So let our minds focus on what God has said. On the promises that God has given us. On the word that he has given us. On the truth that he has given us. Think about those things and see the way your life will be different. Hallelujah. Fikiria hayo maneno. Si raisi, lakini ni maamuzi unafanya. Ya kufikiria hayo maneno. Amka, usiki kwa amka, amka. Unaangalia unaona it will not rise up and work. Work it out because God has said it will work. So rise up and do what? And work. Bwana asifiwe. So remember to guard your thoughts because hata hivyo vitu Mungu anasema hatujaviona they in the spiritual. He's telling us what he has prepared for us. And for us to receive them our minds might, must be aligned. Our thoughts must be aligned to the way God wants us to see. Praise God. Every day, every time you come here, kila wakati wakati tunakuja uh, katika ibada, wakati tunafundisho, wakati unapata mafundisho, there's a way, there's, yani, there's a time when you're in the presence of God, you, you're like, you feel, yani, una, unasikia tu, yani, umefika, and ikwe, you feel like that is where you should be forever. But uh, after you have felt that that is the way you should be forever, to maintain that state requires action, requires your commitment, requires the realignment of your thoughts. It's not, actions don't just, it requires the realignment of your thoughts, the renewal. For you to dwell in the presence of the Lord every day. Inakuitaji, ufanya maamuzi, that is done where? In your mind, in your thoughts. And you take action to ensure that that is how you live. Ukristo si kushangilia tu kupiga nduru, hallelujah. It is about making decisions every day. And this was our first teaching this year. That it, unafanya maamuzi kila siku. Kuona hayo mabadiliko, unafanya maamuzi kila siku. And many of them are uncomfortable decisions. Many of them are uncomfortable decisions. Very uncomfortable. Some have consequences. But when you make that decision, you will reap the reward. Hallelujah. To know, we, we fear the consequences. And fearing the consequences of, our, of, of some of the mistakes we have done, uh, correcting them, makes us lose what we are actually supposed to receive. Kuogopa kufanya maamuzi, kutoka mahali tuko, inatufanya hatupati kile tunafaa kupata. You don't want to leave that boyfriend and you're asking God to give you a husband and he has said leave. You have to make a decision and face the consequences. Anaeza kakwambia umrudishie uhamishwe mahali unaishi jundu ya nalipa rent umrudishie simu alikununulia iPhone go say 10 ama 20. Mefika 20. 10. Umrudishie sijui nini alijengea wazazi wako alikupatia pesa ukalipa school fees all those all those things could be consequences that you will face for making that decision but at the end of the day you are for pursuing your, your 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 reward what god has said he will give you praise god make those uncomfortable decisions think about where you are going not where you have come from think about where you are going think about the reward you are going to receive Think about life in eternity and make those decisions. Hallelujah. Let us raise our hands. Father, we bless your name this morning. Na kushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni muaminifu. And I thank you for the word of this day. We have no control many a times of our minds. But your word tells us that you have given us the power. Your spirit 
has given us not just boldness my father but it has given us this it has given us love it has given us sound mind and self control and i pray mighty god that as we have believed and we have received christ that each one of us will make the choice of giving our minds to you this morning that our minds will be renewed and that we will fulfill what you have purposed for us mighty father i pray mighty god that every decisions that are being made right now every reflection that is taking place right now my father kila moja anajua kile anachofikiria i pray mighty father that everyone who has made their decision today that will change our thoughts and will guard them that they will be in alignment to your word they will be in alignment to your promise they will be in alignment with your instructions father i pray that you strengthen them this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ that your holy spirit will strengthen each one of us in our places of weakness that mighty god we overcome that we will change the way we see everything that will change our actions that will change our character because our minds have been renewed I pray mighty father that your holy spirit who who dwells in us will never lack in our lives that will keep guiding us who will keep teaching us who will keep giving us direction towards what you want us to see in this life father i pray that every time that we have missed the mark because of what we think because of what we have done out of our thoughts i pray mighty god that you forgive us and give each one of us a new beginning this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray mighty father that we will think of things that are honorable that we will think of things that are true things that are worthy things that are admirable mighty father and at the end of everything our lives will be transformed and our lives will be manifesting your presence every day that everyone will glorify you for what will be seen in our lives thank you mighty father for every testimony thank you for every change thank you for every decision that has been made this morning and i pray that this will not just be for today i pray that it will be every day and that our lives will at the end of it all glorify your name Thank you mighty father for your presence thank you for your teaching thank you for your word and the word that you have set for us will be planted in our hearts it will grow and will bear fruit i pray that at the end of everything it will not be about us but it will be about you receive our glory receive our honor today and forevermore in jesus mighty name we pray amen Amen. Icho kwariye. Icho kwani mwari mwari po. Icho kwariye. Icho kwani mwari mwari po. Icho kwari. Mwari mwari po. Icho kwani. Mwari mwari po. Icho kwariye. Shwari na presence of the Lord sia Oh Shwari The Lord is sia Oh Shwari Agaria chila ni sema Oh Shwari Shwari na presence of the Lord sia Get it your neighbor let him know Shwari na presence of the Lord sia Oh Shwari The Lord is sia The Lord is sia The Lord is sia 